After a 15-year wait, the Titan Aram Lily at the Stellenbosch Botanical Gardens put on a magnificent show. The flower finally bloomed. The flower, which is sometimes referred to as the corpse flower because of the odor it emits, takes between 6 and 15 years to normally bloom. The entire blooming process takes just 48 hours in total, and then the flower goes dormant. For horticulturists, it's been years in the making. We've been waiting 15 years for this, and in the last two years we've actually repotted it, so it's given it a little bit of extra nutrients that it needed, and beautifully it's actually ended up flowering this year, and we're very, very excited. This plant is originally from Indonesia, and in the wild there are only about a thousand individuals left, so it's very rare, um, quite endangered and stuff like that. And in southern Africa, there are only two flowers. Titan arum lilies are large plants. They can grow larger than 1.5 meters and weigh over 70 kilograms. Their purple and yellow colors are also striking. The 48-hour blooming is part of a pollination process, where male and female plant each take 24 hours to bloom. This in the wild is rare, though. Such a tiny frame or time frame um, where two flowers actually need to be, one needs to be producing female flowers and one needs to be producing male flowers for that to actually happen. And because these are so rare in the wild, it's very, very, very unlikely that actually any successful pollination happens. For now, the two Titan Aram lilies situated in Southern Africa have both officially bloomed and will go into a complete phase of dormancy. The flowering of the Titan Aram lily marks more than a decade of patience for the cultures here at the Stellenbosch Botanical Gardens. It is also one of the most significant events in the floral kingdom. Gavzandru CGTN, Cape Town.